Hello, eighth grade students of Canton Middle School. From your teachers, administrators, staff, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, all of us, we wish that we were having this award ceremony in person. Unfortunately, that was just not a possibility. So we did the best that we could, uh, but the underlying thoughts and feelings that we all have remain the same. We're very, very proud of you. We are anxious to see what you do in the future and we celebrate you as you move on up to Pisgah to continue your academic career. So without further ado, and to keep this as short as possible, uh, we have two different awards. We have a Student of the Quarantine Award, which is our online school award from each teacher, as well as the Student of the Year Award from each teacher. So during distance learning, I would say I had many, many good students. I had a lot of students who were diligent, doing their work, and just doing what was expected of them. Um, however, I would also say I only had a few good mathematicians, people who were still questioning and pushing themselves to do their best work and really um, putting out the effort to be the kind of mathematician I was trying to have you be, or try to teach you to be in class. So uh, my quarantine award uh, would go to Malia and Tori from my math one class. So. Uh, Malia, thank you for coming to Poppins and, and asking questions and make sure you didn't hit submit until you knew it was your best work. And uh, Tori, thank you for asking questions about things that I returned to you. And when I said, hey, this is wrong, you didn't just try and fail again. You made sure you understood before you turned it in and fixed it. My eighth grade math student of the quarantine award goes to a young lady that has not only worked hard in math throughout all of this craziness, but she's also worked so hard to try and stay positive and keep everybody else positive. So thank you, Savannah Lawrence, for all of your dedication and hard work in math and positivity. I know I appreciate it and I'm sure your classmates have also. My Math One Student of the Quarantine Award goes to somebody that has just the biggest personality and I know this quarantine has been rough on her because of that. I know I've missed her personality, but she didn't let that bring her down that we are all by ourselves. She kept working hard. She kept doing everything she was supposed to and I'm so proud of you, Haley Hartshorn. Congratulations. Hey guys. Um, so as if I haven't had enough time in front of the camera, um, I did want to give you guys um, a quick little shout out, um, mainly to talk about my star student for the quarantine period. Student of the quarantine is what we're calling it, which sounds really funny, um, especially if you've seen the movie Children of the Corn. Um, so it seems kind of silly. Um, but anyway. So my two star students, I picked one for my English one and I picked one for um, my, out of my other three classes. And so my, my star student of the quarantine for English one goes to Hannah Teague. Hannah, I just want you to know that I am so proud of you. Um, I know that like you had surgery during quarantine, you had, you know, like health issues and things that people, not that other people didn't, but I mean, you were on top of it, girl. And I am just so proud of you because I know that reading is not your favorite thing in the world. Um, but in spite of that, in spite of everything, you, you got your work done and not only did you get your work done, you got it done, you did it well, and you did it ahead of time. So I just have to give it to you, girl. I am so proud of you. So high five, Hannah Teague, English one, um, staying on top of it. And I am just, I'm, I'm super proud of you. And I want you to know that. Okay, my student of the quarantine um, for my other classes. This was really hard. It was really hard for English one too. Um, but for my other classes, there were so many other students to, to choose from and, and you guys made it pretty hard um, because I had a lot of super consistent students and it's really hard not to give a shout out to everybody. However, there's one student in particular who just really killed it the entire time and that is Sophia Hendricks. Sophia, you gave me things to read. You wrote some of the coolest stuff, and not that other students didn't, 
but you you consistently wrote and you and you gave me something to look forward to and you sent me messages and I mean I couldn't have asked for for any better participation on on virtual or digital learning than I got from you so Sophia thank you and I really enjoy your writing don't give up on it um, you you are a rock star not only are you an awesome artist but you are a writer too girl so you know keep that up I am so proud of you and in spite of all of the pandemic craziness that has been happening you have just managed to absolutely kill it in in your schoolwork so thank you this award is for uh, my remote learning award for language arts and as all of you know shifting to remote learning has not been easy there was a lot of to learn from troubleshooting technical problems to having to learn to put yourself on a schedule and stay motivated without your teacher there bothering you every two seconds. Uh, and so many of you have risen to the occasion and it was really hard to choose just one student for this remote learning award. One of the big positive things that I saw come out of this experience of remote learning was that some of our more quiet students were able to, to shine and, and have a voice. And ultimately, I chose to give this award to Tiffany Ledford because she never let anything get in the way of her learning. She attended every single Google Meet, uh, even sometimes from her car. As she was off running errands, she'd bring us right with her. Uh, she put forth her best effort in all of her work and even tried to encourage some others to get and stay motivated. So I am so proud of you, Tiffany. Um, you are just doing great. My online class star is Jasmine Watson. I want to say how proud I am of how hard that she's been working the whole time we've been in online classes. She turns in all of her assignments and she is so encouraging to me and her classmates and everyone around her and I'm just so thankful for how great of a student that she's been. Thank you, Jasmine. I'm so proud of you and I care about you. Hey, Canton Middle School, it's Mrs. Weaver. Um, hi, missed you guys. Um, I first want to tell you how amazing you all are, um, how hard I know you've worked during this quarantine, and it was such a hard adjustment, and most of you stuck with it. It was uh, very hard to pick up just one student for the awards, especially during these times, but needless to say, I had to pick one for the student of the quarantine. This student has completely turned around their work ethic. They did every assignment without complaint, turned them in all on time, and answered all of my crazy attendance questions and weekly check-ins. Spencer Jordan, congratulations. You are my science student of the quarantine. Yay! My awards for social studies. I've got two to give out. One is for student of the quarantine. And uh, this award goes to Jared Webb. Jared, you are a fantastic child. You are a brilliant child. And I encourage you to embrace your education in the future the way that you did during this time period. Take learning seriously because you're so brilliant. Uh, if you combine hard work and your natural abilities, you will be unstoppable. I'm very, very proud of what you've done during this online learning uh, segment. For my student of quarantine, I've picked Guinevere Baker. Guinevere, uh, you did every assignment, any of those videos. You were enthusiastic and very entertaining in some of them, and I loved watching them. Both of you are outstanding students, and you make me, you make me feel very lucky to have been able to teach you this year. Hi, eighth graders. We're here to announce some awards from Ms. Ferguson and Ms. Wright. And our eighth grade student of the quarantine is Hayden Turner. We uh, appreciate him completing all of his assignments, including the material that was reposted on our virtual learning. He also emailed if he had questions or made any comments. He understood the material and thank you, Hayden. You're awesome. Yay. Bye -bye. All right, and our eighth grade end of year student of the year is Leo Serrano Hernandez. 
He always completed all his work, got his homework done, turned in all his work during the remote learning period, and made comments. Way to go, Leo! Yay! Good job, Emily. I'll just let you do that. Uh, as far as my student of the year uh, for my eighth grade math class, that was a really hard choice. Um, I've had a lot of students who have challenged me in a good way this year. Um, you know, Leo, you made so much growth. Um, Jackson Free, you brought in who I am and um, challenged me as a teacher. Um, you know, Jordan Spencer, you were on my list. You know, I, I really appreciate how you can be yourself and a good student. Um, but in the end, uh, I picked someone who was really a leader as a math student, and that is Sierra Perez. I really appreciate how your questioning and your participation in class really moved the class along. Um, so thank you for all your hard work this year. And for Math 1, um, I picked someone who could really handle a joke for an entire year. So thank you, Caden Davis. Um, you know, you're, you're, um, you know, you're, a, you're a smart, smart kid. Um, I don't know what you're going to do with your life, but you're going to be great at it. Uh, and I really appreciate how hard you work this year. I just have one more thing to say, and that is to Aaron. Aaron, I want you to know that you are not the problem. My overall eighth grade math award goes to a student that I feel like has just really worked as hard as they possibly could have since the first day of eighth grade. Um, this student has done every single thing I've asked them to do to the best of their ability, even during the remote learning when I'm sure it was pretty tempting to just stop and give up. She kept going. She kept doing her best. So Savannah Reinhardt, you are my overall eighth grade math award, and I am so proud of you. My overall Math 1 award could go to so many students in that class, but there's one student in particular that really stood out to me this year. This person had so much drive and determination, not only in the classroom, but online also. They don't let any sort of challenge stop them. They want to learn. They love learning. So don't ever lose your drive and determination, Shannon Lafferty. I'm so proud of you. And student of the year, whew, you want to talk about a hard decision, you guys. Um, so I have a student of the year for English 1. And I have a student of the year for my other classes. So my student of the year for English 1, and this was so hard, um, but I know that this person is very deserving. And so student of the year for English 1 goes to Matt Tankersley. I am so proud of you, Matt. Um, and I know that like digital learning wasn't your thing and you were very clear about that from the beginning and I so appreciate that, but you still did every single assignment and you did it like to a T and it was perfect and awesome. But not only that, during the school year, Matt, you really did an amazing job with every assignment that you turned in. I mean, it was like everything had been done as as perfect as you could make it and I think that 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 is is key um I mean it's hard it's really hard to do your best on every single assignment every single time but Matt you you did that and so I'm super proud of you um I used your example when we read the ones who walk away from OMLS and that was such a crazy story and so hard to comprehend. And everybody was like, oh, the story sucks. And oh, this is really hard. But Matt, you like, you killed it. And I was just blown away when you came up with a theme for that and you had evidence to support it. And I was like, who else, who else could come up with this? And, and, and just off the top of your head during class. Um, that really impressed me, but but honestly, you've impressed me all school year. So I knew that this award had to go to you. Great job, Matt. Okay, student of the year um, in my other three classes. And again, guys, y'all just make it so hard to pick. Um, but this student not only was amazing during the school year, but also during our, um, our time off from school during virtual distance learning, 
she killed it on everything, um, turned in things, asked questions, emailed me, oh no, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this in on time, I'm having this issue, I'm having that issue. But then when you did turn things in, it was just phenomenal. I mean, I knew that you had put your heart and soul into it. And that goes to Jazzy Valencia. Um, Jazzy, even when I asked you, I would say, you know, I would leave a comment on something and I'd say, hey, can you like maybe fix this or improve this? You, you were on it and you did. And I left those, those comments to a lot of students, but not a lot of students, and that's okay. Um, but not a lot of students actually went back and fixed those assignments. And it just really impressed me that you would do that. But honestly, didn't surprise me all that much because that's exactly what you did during the school year from day one. You wanted to succeed. You you made that very clear that you wanted to do your best. And, and that has never been a question ever in my mind that you would not do your absolute best on every single assignment. So... You're awesome, Jazzy. You're going to do so many great things. All of you are going to do so many great things. And I'm so proud of all of my students. I love you guys. And I'm going to miss you. For my overall language arts award for the entire year of language arts, I really thought about someone who had a true passion for reading and could think in unique and critical ways about the books that they read. I'm giving my overall award to Xavier Hess. Uh, Xavier not only loves to read, he loves to think about what he reads. We've had so many awesome conversations walking to and from lunch. We would often talk about the books he was reading on his own, his theories about those books. And one thing that is really uh, special about Xavier is that he notices those small things that authors do that most other readers tend to miss. Um, he makes really amazing connections between the books he reads and the world we live in, and he is articulate and intelligent in ways that are beyond that of your average eighth grader. And I can't wait to see all that he can accomplish. Uh, Xavier, you are just awesome. My class star is Evan Bird. Um, Evan Stewart Bird, I am so proud to be your teacher. Um, I wish that we could have finished the year in person, but I just want you to know that me and all of your teachers are so proud of you. Um, you did such a great job this year, even in online school. I appreciate all of your effort. I know that you're going to do amazing things, and I can't wait to see how great you do in high school and beyond. Um, have a great summer. I care about you. Bye. Um, next is my student of the year. My science student of the year is a student who has worked hard all year long. They pushed themselves constantly, wanted to know more, ask questions, and they were an absolute pleasure to have in class. This student has a love for nature and science, and I could see them having a career in science. Uh, my student of the year is Riley Schof. Uh, congratulations, Riley. I am so proud of you. Yay! Um, but on a side note, I wish you all the best of luck in your future, in your careers, in high school. Um, you guys are going to be great. I miss you. Bye. Second one, um, my student of the year, uh, inside joke, um, for those of you in my homeroom, as you guys know, I had a, a note saying that Aiden Ray was my favorite student on the wall and we counted every single day. Aiden, you did a great job when you were in my classroom, but in online school, you were there every single day. You did every single assignment. Uh, you are my student of the year, and I'm so proud of you. If you only knew what you were capable of, um, you have the capac capacity to do anything that you want to do in this world. And uh, I hope that you continue to make the choice to, uh, to do your best. I'm very, very, very proud of you, Aiden. So take care. Hey. So for my social studies awards, I have picked two students. Both of these students are outstanding. For my student of the year, I have picked Maggie Mall. Maggie, you do impeccable work. You always, um, you're always enthusiastic and energetic in any assignments I make where you have to get up in front of the room and act something out, or if you have to draw something, you do just, just awesome work. I am so proud of you. All right, finally, in our awards program, the final award, uh, we give out a citizenship award every single year to students who 
put forth a lot of effort, who do the right thing with their teachers and with their classmates, and basically the people who show kindness, heart, compassion, all those traits that not only make you a great student, but make you a great human being. And uh, we actually have four of them this year. We expanded, we had so many competitors that, uh, you know, we wanted to honor as many kids as possible. There are so many great kids in this eighth grade class, uh, but we limited it to four. So, um, from the female side of things, uh, this is a student that I did not teach. However, I did coach her, and I can tell you that she puts forth maximum effort in everything that she does. She treats her fellow classmates with kindness and compassion, and uh, that student is Addie Sorrels. Uh, just a fantastic child, and uh, we all look forward to seeing what you do in the future, Addie, um, and we're super proud of who you are because you're just simply a great child. Um, our second female citizenship award winner, uh, who I did teach, um, is Savannah Lawrence. And Savannah Lawrence was an asset in everyone's classroom, helps things go smoothly, helps her fellow students, um, kind in the hallways, kind to her teachers. And then of course, uh, she was the inspiration and the driving force behind the morning show program, which took a lot of work on her part. And uh, she really set herself apart as wanting to give back and contribute to the Canton Middle School community. And we all appreciate her just so much for that. So Addie Sorrell, Savannah Lawrence, I'm so proud of both of you guys. You guys are fantastic children. And you set a fantastic example for all the other students here at Canton Middle School. Amongst the boys, our first winner, uh, and this is a student that we all love, whether we teach him or not, is Eli Rigsby. Eli Rigsby does so many important things around this school. Uh, however, the one memory that I will have was his kindness, his compassion, his loving uh, nature when he escorted Ashlyn Parks as our homecoming queen. Um, Eli volunteers in the exceptional children's room and is always willing to help teachers with whatever they need. He was always there for fundraisers, for anything that he could help out with, and that's the mark of a, of a young man with fantastic character. So we're all extremely proud of you, Eli. Last one, final character award winner or citizenship award winner for 2020 is Luke Gonzalez. And uh, Luke, you just, you know, you're a fantastic kid. Um, it made me extremely happy to teach you this year. Uh, you have the entire package. You are intelligent, you are a hardworking kid, but most of all and most importantly, uh, you have a great heart. And uh, Luke and I, I won't, I won't tell the story, Luke and I uh, had an, an episode involving the lunch table where he showed his character. And uh, I will never forget that, Luke. And uh, I'm super proud of you. I, I respect and admire who you are and I look forward to seeing what you do in the future as well.